always hydrate first. I do one liter of water and then I do a warm water with lemon and Celtic salt. And this has been my morning lineup. I don't usually even take any supplements, but this actually changed my life. So <laughs> I love this one. Completely changed my skin and really helped get my hormones in balance. I am obsessed with it. I think it's a great product. And then this, my mom and my sister love it. So I figured I'd give it a try. So I have no thoughts yet, but I'll let you guys know once I have more info. Lots of produce cleaning. This candle is so lovely. I'm off to grab a coffee and go to the farmers. I just put clean sheets on the bed. I'm just deep cleaner space and Paula's not towing and I've got some spa music going. And then I'm gonna take a shower. Guys, it's actually absurd how long it takes me to pack. Because I try everything on. Hi, girly pops. I'm in Iowa City. I'm literally next level tired right now. Like, so wiped out, and I don't even know why. It hasn't been that long of a day, but I am wiped. Anyways, I'm gonna go down to Joseph's and pick up some carry out. I'm wearing like a semi cute outfit. I'm wearing this cutie little redone tank that I got at Catherine's today, and I love it. So. Yeah. Hi right, guys, I make an Excel spreadsheet for every trip we take and we're taking a trip in a couple weeks so I'm going through and any reservations that we have go on this, any places we want to check out, any places that I want to check out to go shopping, um, any hikes, any sightseeing, everything goes on this Excel spreadsheet. I am kind of insane and I have to do it. So I'm working on two right now. I'm working on our mini moon and then I'm working on um, the one for our trip in a couple weeks so that's what we're up to good morning honestly grab a journal and do these questions they're really good i'm heading out to go meet my dad for a little walk it is so hot out it actually feels like summer just fed my starter and then i'm gonna go take some stuff to the tailor i'm actually taking my wedding dress to the tailor because the only tailor i trust is well, I trust two, Bella Atelier in Chicago. Um, so trust her. Um, and I trust um, my girl in Iowa. I'm taking it to my girl in Iowa. So we're gonna go do that. I need to go to our calligraphers to drop off something for her. And yeah. Hi guys, I just dropped my alterations off at my guy and I'm actually, I am such a fan of having a tailor, like I swear to God, it completely changes the dressing game um, because, I mean, I just had some pieces that I've been meaning to take to him for a while. It's actually his mom that does all the tailor work, but um, I've been meaning to take to them for a while and I have just like, I really hate going to the mall here and my alterations places in the mall. Like I actually hate it. Um, but, so I've been putting it off, but I was just like, okay, fuck it. I need to take my stuff. Um, and so I got that done and I'm actually really excited about the pieces because I, uh, just think they're gonna turn out really beautifully so anyways that's done I'm gonna run and see my grandma um, and then I'm gonna go home make some lunch and then head back out and go bug our calligrapher because I didn't I haven't done that yet um, I had to get some work done so I just feel like I actually I know I've been under the weather which I think I've said and so I've just been moving a little bit slower like usually I feel like I move through things like that and I'm just like not in that headspace today so 
for the work that I did get done. I just like, it's good work. It just took me, took me longer than I would have liked to get it done. Um, which was honestly, I guess it was a good lesson because I had patience with myself to just like actually work through it. Um, because I knew if I didn't get it done, then I would just feel totally, it's like similar to this stuff, like going to do the alterations, all the things. I just knew, okay. People, sorry, I kind of get road rage, not gonna lie. Not road rage, I just get like, why are you, sorry, it doesn't matter. People are also, I think I've just like, honestly kind of grown accustomed to Chicago um, driving. Not that I drive in Chicago, but I'm in the car a lot in Chicago and it's just like a completely different beast than people in Iowa. Um, people are just a lot more timid here, which I think is actually a good thing, but any hoozles. Um, when I'm here, I actually, I've been driving a 4Runner. I actually really like it. Um, I feel like it, it kind of drives like a truck and it makes me feel really safe. Low key, I used to shit on Toyotas because like my parents have always bought Toyotas. Like they've all, they've really had everything and they just like Toyotas. Um, but also if you know my family, it makes sense. I'm not gonna like go into it further, but it makes sense why we would like Toyotas. Um, and I used to shit on it. It's kind of like I used to shit on Iowa City, but now I like kind of like it. And they just came out with a new Land Cruiser and it's like actually such a cool car. Um, like I kind of want it. Um, it's really sweet. And I also like, I love Land Cruisers. Um, my dad has always driven Land Cruiser and I just think they're actually really good cars. Um, and they just feel, they feel safe. Like the only car that I would say I feel is safe in when I'm, as when I'm in a Land Cruiser is like a G-Wagon, which like obviously a G-Wagon is gonna be safe. It feel, it's like a machine. Well, they're all machines, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but there's just something really secure about it. And honestly, that's, I kind of feel the same way, not the same way, but I feel like that in this car too. It's just very, I think it's cause you're higher up and it's boxy. Hi guys, um, I just got back from a little walk shop situation and I'll do a little out of the city haul in a bit because um, I feel like I'm always bopping around while I'm here. But anyways, I am grabbing my book. I'm reading the new Ellen Helderbrand book and I'm going to hop in the sauna. Fun fact about me, anytime I sauna, I do it in a sweatshirt because I just want to sweat faster um so I can get in and get out I meant to grab my phone charger too um but anyways so yeah it is such a hot day and honestly when it's so hot out I feel like I have no energy I just don't feel like I was designed for like really really hot summers which is weird because I was born in Florida so you would think you'd think I'd be able to handle it but I think it's because it just gets so cold in Chicago during the winter that I don't know I, I have no tolerance for the heat um I'm gonna charge my computer and you guys look how active my starter is it's like looking nice and fresh and I'm so excited to bake with it but I went to the kitchen store today to pick up a banneton and they were already closed so we're not gonna use banneton just got out of the shower post sauna I'm doing a little Tammy Fender up appeal and I'm gonna work on Sunday Substack which is a roundup of outfits that I've worn it's a week of outfits so that I've worn like I guess in the past two weeks I'm going to Joe's house I'm just wearing a super low-key outfit tonight this is a St. Agni strapless. These are vintage silk trouser shorts. I don't even know where these shoes are from, but I've been loving them. And then the bag is from Italy. Having tea and doing some bread prep. And this is my first ever sandwich loaf. And you guys, it literally already 
smells so good. So active. Our sourdough sandwich loaf is ready for action. Off to the farmer's market. Do you know how, wait. There you go. Do you want to get a bucket? Yeah. People don't know, yeah. yeah. And I don't want to. Farmers is in full swing. Wildflowers, which I'll always gravitate towards. Vanilla body butter that literally smells amazing. Um, carrots, butterhead, which is my favorite. This is a lemon thyme I'm excited to use. Um, cucumber, zucchini, fennel, and more green. My first ever bread loaf, and it actually looks and smells amazing. It got the perfect crust. Off to dinner. Last morning at home. See what we draw. Genonia, distance, turbulence, reward. These ones don't really have any rhyme or reason, so you just kind of have to look, but I don't mind it. Okay. This denizen? Yeah, this denizen of the deep makes its home so many leagues under the sea that its shell only washes up after hurricanes. Tumult dredges things up from the darkest schisms. Sometimes they're rewards. Love that. Tough times make us go stronger. Jesus CEO, my current fave. He said thank you. Just before Jesus commanded Lazarus, 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 sorry. Just before Jesus commanded Lazarus to rise, he thanked God for hearing him. In one of his final prayers, he thanked God for giving him Peter, John, James, Mary, and Martha, and the rest of his staff. Jesus had a thankful heart. Grateful is or gratitude is the key element of leadership because gratitude means an open heart, a listening heart, a faith-filled heart. How could anyone be a leader without faith and gratitude and higher power or have a better future built on better ways? One of the most breathtaking sights in San Diego is the sunset on the beach. That was random. <laughs> in San Diego is the sunset on the beach. As the sun sinks slowly into the horizon, hundreds of seagulls stand and turn quietly to bid farewell. Pelicans fly by its perfect formation, skimming just up the top of the waves in the sunset salute. On the bridge across from the beach, thousands of birds line up on the electrical wires, all sitting and facing the sun. Wow, this sounds like my biggest fear. As you know, I hate birds. Thousands of birds line up along the electrical wires, all sitting and facing the sun saying goodbye to the day. Perhaps they are also silently praying, thank you God for no need caring when and even one of us fails. Thank you God for declaring that even sparrows shall be fed. Jesus said thank you. Question, do you say thank you before you ask for something from God, from your boss, from your staff? No, but that's really good and that's straight up manifestation. And then the second question is, do you realize that having a grateful heart may keep you from meeting up a transplanted one? Absolutely. Now I'm gonna do those questions in my journal. But first I'm gonna do my five minute journal. Just went out on a walk and then picked up a coffee at Noto. They have really good coffee here in Iowa City. I like their cold brew. Um, and then a morning glory muffin from the bread garden. These are like my favorite. I have to be in the mood for a muffin, but I do really like them. Hello you guys, we're back in Chicago. It is literally like 95 degrees. So we're wearing very cooling linens today, but, and hair is in a bunny girl um, so that I can stay cool. I'm gonna go out and run some errands and grab a coffee and stuff and then I'm gonna come back. I'll do a little Iowa City haul for you guys um, and we'll chat a little bit and I'm gonna end the vlog. But um, I'm gonna leave my camera here because I'm trying to carry as little as possible. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you. Hi guys, so it's super hot out so I just got out of the shower um, but I wanted to come on and do a little Iowa City haul um before i go out for just like a little mini walk um i'm not kidding it's like 100 degrees out so anyways 
we'll just get into this. The first thing I got is this little redone tank that I'm obsessed with. It has this like cute little tool kind of look. Um, and it's just a cute pointel tank. Like, do I have things like it? Yes, but I've been pulling for it like every single day. Um, and so I love it. Um, and then I got this Lisa Yang tank that's just like cream cashmere, slightly sheer. It's super chic and just like a really easy wear. I really, really like it and I love a cashmere tank. And then this top is very Doen vibes actually. The brand is called Cali by Cali Dreaming and it's super pretty. Like it's just a really, really nice blouse type top. Like literally gives such Doen energy um, and it fit really nicely. And it was a part of the Catherine sale. I think it was originally like 150 and I got it for like 100. It's really a beautiful top. I really enjoy it. Um, and then, okay, this is like kind of out of my comfort zone, but I thought it was so fun. This skirt from Revival is Vintage RL and it fits like a, mid, like a low rise skirt and you can either have it with these or you can completely take them out, but it's basically just like a black low rise moment that's like early 2000s-esque. It's so cute on, and I picture it with just like a black um, t-shirt or like a black like three quarters type vibe, super simple. And then finally, I love my jean jacket, but I've been looking for a jean shirt as well. I really like the cape one. But I just feel like a jean shirt, like, is, I don't know. It's less timeless than a jean jacket in my mind. So anyways, I found this one that's vintage Levi's from, I'm honestly just going to try it on again. From Revival. And it's really perfect. It's like, I don't even know if you can see, but it's very oversized, but it like, it really does the trick and i like how it has these like pearl essent um buttons similar to the cape one and it's kind of western and it's just a really fun piece so i got that and then the final thing i wanted to talk to you guys about is this body butter that i got at the iowa city farmers market you guys I am obsessed with it. It literally smells so good. Also, this is like such a small meal, but I'm sending in something to LOL the IRS today. And I haven't like written anything on it, but get yourself some cute stamps because why wouldn't we elevate our letters to the IRS? Like you want your stamps to be damn cute. And so I always get like forever stamps makes like a floral stamp and I always get the florals and they're so cute. Um, okay. What I was gonna show you is this body butter. It's really great. And yes, I'm listening to sleep frequencies because I'm literally so tired of this heat. <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already done so and let me know if you have any requests love you bye